note. Uh -huh. um, it wasn't for the full amount that was due to me, so uh, we didn't know exactly how much they had to add big back because I never had that. So we agreed that we would only acknowledge $1,000 for the more like about 400 but it's my daughter. So um, we're just going to say $1,000 to save back against the $2,200 loan and add the $600, which actually turned out to be six hundred two fifty eight. But And she signed a promissory note for the $1,800. And agreed to pay back the loan. The loan at hundred dollars a month. It was fifty dollars per paycheck. This is what so you have received. Get them beast. I have received two payments, two one hundred dollar payments. Mm. My month brings it down to sixteen something. Correct. What I get is right now. So you have not received rose? No. All right. Finish paperwork up now. I'm sorry to be so kind. And young man, I'll come back shortly. Don't go anywhere. All right. Now. Thank you, ma'am. Now let's see. Mrs. Cassidy. Yes. What's your defense? Yes. She's my mom. If she had to provide for me, she said, no questions asked. She also brought up that a large portion of this loan was portion that I approved with my ex. Six eggs, yes? No. No. She is correct. I did borrow $600 on my own in October. But the other thousand dollars was debt that was accrued with me and my husband. And so why am I why am I the only one responsible? Correct. And you were supposed to be taking care of your business, you've got a job and you have recourse for this. Correct. Story. Why is it you say that uh your mother can't seem to understand why she should take care of you? Because she's my mom. And that's what you do. I have two kids, and I can tell you right now, see, there's those well, kids. Somewhere along the line, I'm doing my list of God in my life, and she'd be 90-something now, and I'm in my 60s, and she's seemingly responsible for me. In my opinion, yes, she's not in the middle of this world. I'm sorry, that's my opinion. But bottom line is, is